Hello and welcome to Model Ads. Happy Easter! Today we're going to take a look at two of Battlefront's new mechanised kits, the plastic incarnations of the popular US Armoured Rifle and German Panzer Grenadier platoons, available for £35 and £26 or US$58 US and US$45 US respectively. Each box set comes with three different types of sprue, an infantry sprue, a half-track sprue or two and a crew sprue, as well as decals and bases. Both sets are well supported by accurate and clearly colour coded online assembly and basing guides. The two German Panzer Grenadier sprues give you 24 different figures armed with Car 98K rifles, MP40 SMGs and MG42 LMGs as well as a variety of anti-tank weapons. Figures are modelled in standard pattern uniform with 1943 marsh patterned hooded smocks, helmet covers or camouflage, caps and the occasional zelt barn. The two US infantry sprues suffer from less diversity with 20 different figures armed with Garands, Thompson SMGs, Bazookas, 60mm mortars and 30 cal MGs with the latter requiring a little assembly. I couldn't see any BARs or carbines. The half-track sprues, which models an ALFS D Hanamag, come with the number of different options including MG3442s, a 3.7-pack 36 AT gun and assault sapper bridges for the SDKFZ251 forward slash 7 variant. The US half-track sprue enables the construction of either the M3 or M5 half-track with further options to model HQ, LMG and mortar squad variants through the addition of a winch, roller, 30 cal or 50 cal anti-aircraft machine guns. The identical half-track sprues can be given some variety with the five-figure crew sprue that consists of one officer, two seated figures, an MG gunner and driver. As you can see, details are sculpted in high relief, are largely clear and crisp, with only the occasional sinkhole and minor flashing apparent, principally at the end of the Car 98K barrels. Figures webbing is better defined on the US infantry than on the Panzer Grenadiers, who do, on occasion, suffer from a little blurring. Well aligned moulds ensure that there are no hunchbacks or slipped faces. Thoughtfully positioned sprue gates ensures that figures and parts can be neatly removed from the frame. Figures are anatomically well proportioned with only an occasional figure in a slightly wooden pose. Some facial expressions are excellently rendered. Only one of my GIs was bent out of shape but this was quickly sorted with a bit of liquid plastic glue. One piece tracks, complete upper and lower hull and chassis, ensures minimal build times. I chose to model a vanilla M3 and a Pioneer Hanamag which took me around 15 minutes each. Clever design ensures largely blemish-free external surfaces, with most gluing lines concealed or obscured. The Germans come off better on the decal front, with insignia available for the 116th, 17th and Hermann Goring Panzer divisions, as well as girls' names for the half-tracks. In terms of relative scale, both kits' vehicles are spot-on, with the Hanamag indistinguishable from its resin equivalent, and both sitting well alongside their nearest competitor, the Plastic Soldier Company's M3 and 251 sets. Battlefront's plastic infantry are more refined than their metal counterparts, standing between 16 to 17 millimetres high, excluding their base. I don't have any of Battlefront's Americans to compare them with, but the older German range of infantry, a personal favourite, do not sit as well with these new recruits as some would like. For others, their more realistic proportions will be welcome. It's interesting to note that the US infantry are slightly more robustly modelled than the earlier Germans. Battlefront's plastic armoured rifle and Panzer Grenadier platoons come in cheaper than their metal and resin equivalents, if you can get hold of them. I say this because a quick scan of Battlefront's website today reveals the original £38 Panzer Grenadier box set seemed to have been withdrawn and, with plans afoot to release a plastic Panzer Grenadier HQ, I'd better you'd, you'd better get your skates on if you want one of these older kits to complete your collection. For the US, both box sets are currently listed as available, and for £48 against £35, it's worth noting that you'll get five individually sculpted resin half-tracks, 46 differently configured metal figures, and a 37mm anti-tank gun. This might be better value if you're overly weight conscious, going to be angst-ridden about compatibility, and or don't play with the most current lists. As they stand, Battlefront's latest plastic offering, particularly the Panzer Grenadiers, are accurate, well-proportioned and competitively priced box sets. Clever design ensures a quick build and there's a sufficient range of options to keep most folk happy. Clean casts make for quick base coating and despite a few lame ducks, many of the figures, particularly the Germans, are full of character. 
The presence of decals in both sets is great, but the US set could benefit from a little of the variety available to the Germans, whilst both box sets could benefit from the inclusion of optional individual stowage and personal equipment for their half-tracks. With everything available in one box, Battlefront's US Armoured Rifle and Panzer Grenadier platoons are ideal for those just starting out with Flames of War or wanting to swap nationalities. Looks like World War II got a little bit cheaper.